Hello and welcome to your weekly Oracle card guidance. So I've decided today I'll go with just the Rune Oracle uh, cards. So I'm going to go ahead and as usual, clairvoyantly channel a message for you. And today we have five options. I've decided to use Sense as a way in which you can choose and identify uh, the option that feels uh, right for you or that vibrates with you at this moment. So we have the five options and they are Peppermint, Frankincense, Bergamot, Lemongrass and Sweet Orange. So take a moment, make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp uh, either in the description box or in the comment section. And I'm going to go ahead and begin. So we're going to start already with peppermint. I'm going to put these bottles out of the way. We're going to go with peppermint here, as I've mentioned. I'm just going to place it like that. You know what it is. And for those of you who have chosen peppermint, what is it that you need to hear? What is it that's going to help you as you go along in this week? Okay, we have the card, Hagulas. Okay, and it's in the reverse position. I'm going to leave it like that. So Hagulas is actually hail, uh, and um, it's actually a hailstorm, or it's something approaching us that is not as good as it can be. But I feel here that the a fall has been softened. It's not as harsh as it could be. And it's certainly not as destructive as it could be. So it's almost like there is a hailstorm, but you're protected. But that doesn't mean that there isn't fear or there isn't concern about whether your cover will be ripped away from you and you will be exposed to the storm. So it's almost like uh, this is something that comes up um, that has quite a, an aggressive energy and it upsets you, you know. And it could be that you, you it's something like you get a traffic fine and it's a very high fine or you ask to appear in court because of a traffic violation it's something it could be something as simple as that or it could be something which is much bigger maybe your landlord has decided that he's going to increase the rent or perhaps your car has broken down and you need to replace a part or something like this it's some kind of thing that comes your way which is almost unexpected you weren't expecting it but um as i said the the blow has been softened it's the it's not as harsh as it could be the answer to this is it keeps cool to keep steady to ground yourself to detach yourself from the situation and to actually work with what you have available so if you have in the in the week ahead a challenge that you're faced with that you're confronted with Use the essence of peppermint to actually calm yourself. So you don't need to necessarily use essential oil or anything, but think about the qualities of it. Think about the cooling aspect of it. Think about the calming aspect of it. Think about the clarity that peppermint creates. Think about how it is that you can get through this without using too much of heat or too much of emotion, uh, about, without getting riled up about it, but not also without becoming too afraid uh, by it. Don't let yourself be enveloped in fear because if you do, then the situation is going to control you and you're not going to be able to control that situation. But the peppermint, it has it has quite a detached but in control energy. And I think it's exactly what you need to be able to help you navigate the week ahead with whatever it is that's coming your way for those of you who've got this hard glass. For some others of you, it might be something that was supposed to come your way, but it's actually gone away. It's out of your way. It's it's You've narrow, narrowly missed it. So it's almost like there's a tornado coming your way and then you decide to turn down a different street and you're no longer in the path of the tornado. And it can be as simple as that, okay? So I feel that um, whatever it is, whatever it's, is heading towards you right now, you have been warned. And even if it stirs others up or even if it concerns others, don't let it get to you. You are aware of this and you know that this too shall pass. And this is just a temporary setback or situation that just needs to be dealt with. This is just something that needs to be dealt with. It's something, it's like, a, it could be an administrative thing or uh, some matter that needs to be dealt with, needs to be taken care of. And once it's done, it's finished and it's gone. But it might actually be that it costs you a bit 
off something, um, something that you hadn't budgeted for. All right. So I'm sorry about that, but at least you've been warned. And I do hope that it doesn't come to pass. Okay. For those of you who've chosen peppermint, I thank you and I wish you a good week ahead. Good luck with that. For those of you who've chosen the frankincense, be asking the question, what is it that we need to know in the week ahead? What is it that we can expect as we go ahead in this week? Wunjo. So this is a card of joy. So it's so interesting. I would have thought the frankincense would have actually um, drawn like the Ingo's card, which we had earlier with um, the lemongrass. Uh, but here with Wuncho, you have a feeling that is almost um, the direct opposite of the energy of frankincense. We have joy, we have lightheartedness, we have enjoyment, we have um, being able to express love and feel love and commune. It's finding joy and, and happiness and lightheartedness with others using others as a way of enjoying life further. So this is what you can expect in this week ahead, and this is what you should work with, or what you can use to cultivate um, yourself. So if you feel yourself being sucked downward or going in downward spiral and things are working against you, you're feeling bad, the energy here is, or the, the, the message here is saying, get out, do something with people, go out, enjoy yourself, experience a bit of lightheartedness. And this is not a lightheartedness that you should experience by yourself at home, watching a movie uh, or drinking a glass of wine or doing some laughing therapy or some yoga. This is saying, go out and be with people and just enjoy yourself. Go out and, and work with others and feel with others and, and just enjoy and be and and see what comes out of it go and get drunk if need be and i'm not suggesting that you do that if you're a recovering alcoholic um always the disclaimers um so but yeah just go and enjoy yourself do what it is that is going to bring you that lightness of being where you can take off that robe that heavy robe that you have to wear of responsibility that of, of being proper of being good of doing the right thing Take that off for a moment and just live and just breathe because this is what your soul desires and this is what you so desperately need at this moment. Okay, so that's the energy I'm picking up right now. It's so different from the others and I just feel like when I tune into this, this is, it's like crying for that. It's like this energy has, it's almost like you've been in a drought and it's like, you know, you haven't had whatever for a very, very long time, whether it's you know, sex or whether it's just fun or just happiness or just laughter or just a good time, you know, um, and you just need to let loose and go out and, and have a great time. And that is the best thing that you can do for this week as you go along. So that's it to all of those who've chosen the frankincense here. I hope you do go out and have a lovely time. Do let me know what you've done. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear about it. So thank you for coming by. And so for those of you who've chosen the essential bergamot, the uh, essential oil, we're asking, what is it that we need to know this week? What is it that we need to know as we go along in the week ahead? Now oh, we have Rido. So Rido is actually a, a rune of travel, of engagement, of movement. And it feels to me that there will be quite a lot of movement um, for you in this week. It might be that you'll be traveling around. You might have to do something new. You might have to go uh, to places like back and forth more than one time. You might be like needing to go somewhere else to do a workshop or you might need to leave your home environment to go somewhere else to work or you might actually, your work may take you somewhere else, or you may need to go somewhere to visit somebody who's unwell, but you have to go more than once. And um, this card here, Rido, it's also talking about putting into action something that you haven't chosen to do as yet, something that you, has been on your mind, that you've been thinking about for a long time, but you just can't wait any longer. You must do it right now. And so what is it that you need to do right now? What is it that you've been putting off for so long and you have a million excuses as to why you can't do it, but right Right now, it's time to actually go ahead and do it. And I also feel here that you have the essence 
of Bergamo actually supporting you. You have this um, energy that's quite serene and, and quite beautiful that's underneath you, that's around you, that's that's following you and, and um, protecting you. Well, it's not really protecting you, but it's more like it's holding that space for you. So whatever it is that you've been putting off, it's time to actually do it right now. There may be travel involved and it feels to me like it's busy. It's really rushing and charging forth. And it's something that it doesn't feel violent or it doesn't feel aggressive in any way to me. It just feels like there's something that needs to be done. And when you do it, it feels like this is new dawn here that's coming up. This is feeling of this warm yellow sun energy that's just underlying it all and that's supporting you. And it's a new beginning for you. So what is it that you've been putting off that signals a new beginning for you? Just discard whatever thoughts you've been having. Don't think about it right now. Go ahead, take that action. Now's the right time for it, okay? You don't need to doubt yourself any longer. You don't need to say, I don't know if I'm ready or not ready. You actually are ready and you have all the universe behind you and supporting you right now. Go ahead, take that action. Do what it is that you need to do for yourself. That is for the well-being of your spirit and that is wholesome for your being. All right, so I wish you well and have a lot of fun in your pursuits. Uh, thank you for coming by, for those of you who've chosen the bergamot. So for those of you who've chosen the lemongrass, what is it that you can expect in the week ahead? What is it that you need to know as you go ahead in this week? Oh, there we are. So for lemongrass, we have the rune of Ingus. It talks about being able to access higher realms. It talks about being protected on the outside and being stable, being grounded, being connected in a way that you are supported and can trust that you are protected as you actually go further into yourself, into a world that is a um, spiritual realm, so to say. So, are your bases covered? This question, this rune is asking you, are your bases covered? Do you have all that you need to be able to do this? Do you have the support that you need to be able to actually continue on the path that you know you need to go into or the path that you've been drawn into? Perhaps you don't know what this path is. Perhaps you're just being led along a certain way. Do you actually have the, the support that you need? Do you have supportive people around you or do you have naysayers around you? Are you protected? Do you have the time and the space to be able to go inward and to be able to trust in yourself without others nagging at you or disturbing you or without noisy neighbors disturbing your peace? This, this card is actually asking you to create the circumstances that can allow you to go inward and work with that part of yourself, which is all you need to do right now. You don't need any other. You don't need anyone else but yourself because this is an inward journey but all you need to do is make sure that before you do so that your bases are covered so this kind of almost gives me the feeling of astral travel you know before you ascend before you you go into a meditation or into a space where you are in a trance and you are astral traveling you need to make sure that your doors are locked that your windows are closed and that you won't be disturbed quite violently by a wind or that you know your doorbell doesn't ring and disturbs you from the space, you need to secure yourself. And so this is actually a card that's talking about that. For me, for me, Ingo's is about going inward, but also about making sure that your surroundings, your exterior has been taken care of so that you have the ability to be able to go inward, okay? So this is how I'm gonna read this rune or this card for today. I know there are several other um, meanings for Ingo's here, which I'm not gonna bring up. Uh, it's just because this is what I'm feeling and this is what I feel I need to share with you at this moment, okay? So I thank you all for coming by and I hope that message has been useful for those of you who have chosen the lemongrass. We have sweet orange. Let's see what sweet orange asks us or tells us. So we are asking, what is it that we need to know in this week? What is it that... Um, yeah, what is it that we need to know to prepare us for this week ahead? Or what can we expect in the week ahead? There we are. 
Oh, we have Fairhall. Okay, so we have Fairhall, and this is a card which talks about growing your assets and growing it in a way that is where you're thinking about it in terms of the long term. You're thinking about your legacy, you're thinking about what it is that you're going to leave behind, what it is that you're doing for yourself. But I feel here that this card, it came out in the reverse, and I'm feeling very drawn to reading the first meaning of it. It's almost like this week, what they're saying is that if you come up with any hindrances or any difficulty with regard to going ahead with your plans, going ahead, looking at your, your long-term goals, if you find that there are a couple of blockages or hindrances or delays in the way of actually on, on your path of going, of reaching there, don't be worried about that. Those were always there is what I'm hearing. They were always there. It's just that you didn't see them, but that didn't stop you from choosing this path. And it is your path. It is where you need to go to. It is necessary for you to focus on that, which are your assets, which are your long-term uh, investments, which is your, your legacy. You're creating your legacy here. And what is it that is your legacy? And if you haven't been thinking about that, or that's the last thing on your mind, it's saying here, well, perhaps take a look at that. Think about what it is that you want to leave behind, what it is that is your legacy, whether it is in terms of the environment or whether it's in terms of leaving something behind for your children or your grandchildren, or for those of you who are simply wanting to do something for yourself or for the world, whatever it is, think about what it is, what it, your legacy is going to be. And do not let any hindrances or any pro, uh, obstacles which you deem to it to be, to be in the way of what it is that you choose. So regardless of all the difficulties, of all the mountains that you have to climb to get to where you need to go to, still pursue that. It might take a little bit more time. It always does, is what I'm hearing. It always takes a little bit more time, but pursue it and it's all good. It's all good. So just your goal, your long-term goal, where it is that you're headed to here in terms of this legacy, in terms of this long-term planning, in terms of Looking after yourself in the long term is the right way to look at the situation right now. So focus on that because that is where you're going to be able to find how the answers or the uh, kind of solutions to these hindrances that stand in your way during the, um, this week. That is what why this energy is coming up this week because whatever it is that stands in your way this week, you're going to more easily be able to understand the solution to it or the, the situation. So it feels to me like it's going to be a really good time to brainstorm and to um, really plan and to understand why things are uh, or how things are going to work out or why they haven't been working out in the way that you want to or that you expect it to. And then being able to just put those ideas out in paper and do some planning and, and shifting some pieces on the, on, on, the, on the chessboard. And then you're going to find that you have the solution and it's going to be checkmate. You're going to be there. It's like you've arrived at it. And this was a great week for you to be able to look at that. So those hindrances shouldn't stand in your way and they shouldn't be something that uh, put you off or make you feel sad. And nor should anything else that anyone else says. This is about you and your path and where you're headed to and your vision. And it yes, it may involve other people along the way. It may even benefit or disadvantage other people along the way. But this is actually yours and it's important for you to focus on it almost in a selfish way where you are putting your needs ahead of others because this is what's required here. Okay, so I don't know if that's made sense to you. It's like a bit all over the place, but at the same time, it makes sense to me. I kind of see the picture very well, which I'm trying to explain to you, but I don't always have the words to explain it. And this is why I'm always like umming and eyeing <laughs> as I'm going along because I see all these pictures and then I'm wanting to translate it. And while English is my first language, I, I think about these words in other languages as well. And so formulating a sentence sometimes that's a little bit difficult for me. So for all of you who are very patient with me about my ooing and aahing, I, I do appreciate that. I try to edit it out at times, but um, at other times I just feel that, you know, if I'm channeling a message and there's oohings and aahings, then it just is what it is. So thank you all for coming by and partaking in this reading. I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Go ahead and be as brave as you can be. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.